On this episode of Shannon Air Speaks, I had the absolute pleasure of interviewing a nine-time Grammy-nominated songwriter, singer, author, wear so many different hats. We got to engage in a wonderful conversation of getting to know them on a personal level. So I hope you enjoy as Shannon Ayers speaks with the incomparable Kelly Price. Hey, we want to welcome you to Hello Beautiful, Shannon Air Speaks with the incomparable Kelly Price, nine-time Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, author, mom, actress, and 10,000 other roles, still looking like you're 22, really. God bless you. I do not... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> we'll just dive right in, if that's okay. Um, you started off as a little kid singing in the church. Did you understand that it wasn't just singing, but a gift? The younger I was, the fewer people I was um, exposed to prior to going to school um, and, and preschool and that kind of thing, because everyone in my house did sing, and everyone in my family like even my mother's siblings. So her siblings, they said when I was around my aunt, she sang and she was around my uncle before his death, he sang, he played, he wrote music. My grandmother played piano and organ. And I read you were raped at the age of three by a cousin. Um, what effect did that have on you both then and now and professionally as well as personally? More people are coming out and talking about it. And I think what we're finding is that um, it happened to a lot of us. And for most of us, um, we were young and it happened in a, safe, in a place that was supposed to be safe. Um, and at three years old, again, this is where having a really good memory from being a really young child, I think sometimes isn't a fun thing um, because I do remember all the detail of it and it was a family member. People look at Kelly Price. There is not a time I've ever seen you get on the stage where it would ever appear as though you have a care in the world. It's like you have a relationship with the microphone and the stage and you know, whatever else just doesn't matter because I'm here, I'm in this moment. Join me if you will. If not, I'm gonna have a party all by myself. And that's what we've always seen of you. I've never heard you hit a bad note. <laughs> I've seen him in a casket, was riding past him on a, on a bus on a city bus um, and he was on a street corner and he was out of his right mind, like literally. So just, you know, imagine being a young girl and that's the, the visual that you have of your yes. dad. That's the last time you see him alive. It, it sounds to me like you made a choice. Um, I can either let my circumstances bury me or I can live within these circumstances and use it as a tool and even as an outlet to better not only my situation, but how I feel about me and, and the life that I live and the life that I want, as opposed to sometimes some people, and it's not a judgment at all because you know everybody handles things differently. Um, everything that you're saying, I can resonate with 100%, 100%. Growing up in New Orleans, everything that you described was no different you know, then, then what uh, we grew up without lights, without water. Uh, our meal for the day was lunch meat sliced thin. And that was one sandwich. Can you, can you tell us about American soul? Oh gosh. So American soul season two, there's, I believe there's one episode left, uh, in this season. Um, that was, that was like, let me tell you. So coming out on into this new life and 2015, Oh Jesus, what a year. Um, walking away from my old life, walking away from a 24 year marriage, um, leaving California, moving back to, to Atlanta, um, which literally I went to Los Angeles 
because I was like, you know, I make the kids are, they getting ready to graduate and blah, 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 blah. And maybe now's the time for me to start being more serious about acting. I never got one acting job in eight years of living in Los Angeles, moved back to Atlanta timing and, and God's timing and all of that, all of that. There's something really people need to understand. That's a real thing. I lived in LA for eight years and I got one acting job. I moved back here in 2015 and got hired for Saints and Sinners like 30 days after I moved into my new place. Wow, wow, that's awesome. You should do your audience with us, like do a piece somewhere there. So oh, that would be awesome. Okay, well, we're putting that out in the atmosphere. Thank you, Lord, yeah. for that. I receive it and looking forward to it. Looking forward to the day when we can meet up in person in New yes. Orleans over some po' boys. Oh, and, yes. And talk to, Hello, to the Hello Beautiful. Oh, oh, that would, as a matter of fact, look, we can have you over and, uh, cause look, my, my 18 year old, she can cook like nobody's business. I love it. Yes, ma'am. So it. that sounds like a date. That is a date. That's a yes. fun awesome. yes. I need a cowboy in my life. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so what we'll do, we'll just kind of wrap this up with our word association. And then I want you to just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind with each one of these words. Judgment. Ooh, judge not. Good. <laughs> what about ugly? Not me. <laughs> Excellent. Song. Ooh, all day, every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life. Beautiful. Beauty. Life. More so now than ever. Yeah. Yeah. Edgemere. Oh God. Beginnings. Mm. Gigi. Ah, my babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. High note. Woo. Get one for us. Give us just a little something. Give me something. Yes, Jesus loves me. I almost didn't hit it. I'm sitting down. For the Bible tells me so. For the Bible tells me so. <laughs> and only Kelly Price can do it. And then the last most important one is Kelly. She's all right with me. She's all right with me too. This was awesome. Oh, this, this, this was awesome for me, I guess, you know, even for my own selfish reasons, if I had to just sit back and just watch this all by myself, I tell you what, I believe my Hello Beautiful audience is going to enjoy it and appreciate getting to know Kelly, the person. Like I said, we got enough stuff out there in the atmosphere. Um, you have more than enough people that love you, that appreciate your talent, and even appreciate what you put in the atmosphere. Um, there are a lot of people out there that look up to you, people that are going through their own changes and they see how you've navigated through your life, even with going through things, but you loved us enough to still give us your best, give us your professionalism, give us your experience and give us your time. So yes, we expect to continue to sing a lot more of Miss Kelly Price. Tell us where we can find you. You can find me on Instagram at Miss MS Kelly Price. You can find me on Twitter at Kelly Price, the number for real. I am not Miss Kelly Price on Twitter. Um, and I want to be clear of that because there was, there was someone that gained some traction about a week or so ago with a tweet that they put out that was not so nice, I guess, in so many people's eyes. And um, so I had to check a couple of people on, yeah, you probably should have looked at the picture. That's not me. <laughs> um, I didn't say that. So I am Kelly Price for real on Twitter. And I'm the official Kelly Price with it. Just look for the blue check marks that will always help you yeah. to know. Verified. I am verified. All of my pages are verified with a blue check. Um, and, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you to send me money via PayPal for my foundations or any of that. Keep, hold on to your money. Feed your families. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay wise. Um, and then www.kellyprice.com. The relaunching of my new website actually just oh. And so this is perfect timing. You can always go to www.kellyprice.com. Um, that will lead you to my 
official places in social media world online as well, if you're looking for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm simply Kelly from Queens, New York. Awesome. Well, I thank you, Miss Kelly Price, my sister girl. We're looking forward to some future ventures. Ho oh, boys, yes. We're going to go to the Who Dad Nation. Yes. <laughs> But thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I love you and appreciate you for sharing with my Hello Beautiful audience. And you can thank you, Kelly. And stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>